Welcome to Canada Stays Owner Tips series. In this tutorial, we will show you how to set up a payout method. The first thing to do is to go to our website at www.canadastays.com. Once you get there, click on the button that says Login in the top right hand corner. This redirects to our login screen. Simply enter your email address followed by your password. I'm going to go ahead and enter one in and then click sign in. Great, this brings you to your backend dashboard. You can see all your upcoming reservations, if you have any messages waiting, and you can manage your entire business with this menu bar. For today, we're gonna to click on the bottom one, account. And this brings you to the account level. For today, we're going to click on Payout Methods. Okay, shows that currently there are no payout methods set, so we're going to go ahead and add payout method with this button. Okay, the first thing to do is to enter your entire billing address. I'm going to go ahead and enter the street, country, city, province or state if you're in the US and postal code zip code all done save and continue and this brings us to the next next section which is the payout method this is where you decide which payout method you prefer so I'm going to go ahead and start with direct deposit and if you're ever confused or unsure this black pop-up shows you directionally what you need to do we're going to click on direct deposit and save and continue so we're going to go ahead and enter the bank institution information. So I'm just going to make something up here, Bank of Bahamas, uh, account name, and branch, institution, and account number are needed. So at the bottom here, we have an example, a Canadian check example, but the same applies, where you would want to add in your branch, your institution, and account number just up here. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. Okay, so these are just examples. You're going to use your own information, of course, and then save and continue. Great, it's done. It has a small check mark here, and that's the default. So we've now set up one payment method that's of course payout method that's of course what you want to do and we did it at the account level so if you're managing multiple listings you can ensure that once it's set at the account level all the listings will have this type of payout method i'm going to show you how to add a second one this is only if you wanted to delete this one or you wanted to have different ones at the listing level you always want to have just one payout method as the default so let's just add a, a second one so first the address, the billing address, and it's all pre-populated, save and continue. So let's try PayPal. We've selected, then we click save and continue. We're going to enter an email address. That's all that's required for PayPal. We're going to confirm it. Okay, so the address, confirming the address, and then save and continue. And it's as simple as that. We now have two payout methods. The one with the check mark is the default. It's typically the one that you enter first. So we don't want to have two set at the account level. We only want to have one in this case. We don't need to. So to remove it, you simply click on that and you confirm by pressing the delete button. Okay, so we just have the one method set up. That's the ideal case. If you did want to have some at the listings level because you're a property manager managing multiple listings and they may require different payout methods what you do is you go to all your listings so I clicked on listings all the listings appear we're gonna click on one of the listings okay and now you're in manage listing this is where you do everything at the listing level not at the account level so I'm going to click on payout method under that specific listing. Great. So I've got my default set. 
Well, let's just go ahead and add a second payout method for this particular listing. Same as always, enter billing information, save and continue. I'm gonna add PayPal again, just for demonstration purposes. Really simple, your email associated with your PayPal account and the confirmation. Done. We have the two set up. Currently, again, this check mark is showing that direct deposit has been the default for this listing, but we're going to remove that. Delete. And now the check mark is under PayPal. So for this particular listing only, we have PayPal currently set up. And you click continue, and you're done. If you have any questions, you can contact us in three different ways. You can call us directly at this number. You can open a chat window right in our website, or you can submit an email form. Thanks for watching our tutorial.